Bob has opened up, um, wow, uh, a, a dusty book around the JFK assassination. And he has the Hello? eyes to see and the ears to hear and Hello? is here sharing yeah, it. Yeah. Fear thing Hi, I have that, a uh, these um, historical entities could project was being superseded by television. So here's this guy Kennedy in the Rat Pack becoming, uh, coming across as having a new kind of discarnate electric disembodied charisma, which no power source had ever uh, accounted for on the, on the level of charisma they thought they had. Yes. So there's a collective threat by television. And that's, that's um, why Kennedy uh, was singled out as uh, having a, he, they, they saw him as corrupting the television landscape because they knew he was a creep behind the scenes. And here's this guy looking like he's a glowing angel, a surfer boy, and yet they, uh, Hoover and them, see this rot behind him. So they couldn't, they thought that the discarnate image of television had to be uh, connected to the chemical body. They thought there was a connection. But Kennedy's image had nothing to do with the Kennedy chemical body. It was just he had the right image for a television grainy, early color, color TV and late black and white, whereas Nixon didn't have that useful image. So, I'm, so I'm bringing, I don't want to get too much on that media level, because I want to point out the way the actual people involved, or I've been told were involved. Now, I don't know if any of this is true, all right? I don't know if any of this is true. But uh, it was a pretty reliable red cardinal, pretty knowing red cardinal told me this. The next point is that we learned from Ion that nobody can die unless they want to. They desire to leave. That's the only way you can die. So every death is suicide. So where's the suicide in Kennedy? Why would he commit suicide? The suicide was, first of all, he was forced into the uh, White House by his father, as his brother was later. And hated his father for the constrictors and, and having to be a politician. So he had that problem with his father. And then he had Kennedy himself. He decided, well, if I'm going to be president, I'm going to do something about the, uh, the Federal Reserve and the Fed and the banking system, system and the currency. So in February 62, he makes his move to find out what's what. And, and then know that he can make a solid move. Well, in the course of doing that, he finds out that America was not owned by anybody that he thought he could influence. It was owned by the Chinese. In 62, America was owned by the Chinese? Yes, it goes back to 1933, and Ion has given us some of this history. Um, do you remember that Fort Hood massacre a couple of years ago with the crazy psychiatrist? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, that was about Federal Reserve notes being shipped over to somewhere in trucks. Well, those were the notes that were set up by and involved with China in '33 to get America out of the Depression. So, China really got a lock in in the, in the '30s, and they just sat there on the sidelines watching America twist. I'm getting the gun. And if somebody costs me, I don't care. If it's them or me, it's going to be them. 